In this video we'll be doing a preview of and looking at some of the changes in LibreOffice version 4. So we'll just start with looking on the website first because there's quite a lot of the changes here. So the featured ones, well perhaps this one's the biggest, you can now use personas in LibreOffice, that is these Firefox personas. So there's no real benefit on performance or making it more user friendly, but it doesn't half look good. <laughs> I've uh, got this one here, Remote Control App for Android, so that's in the Play Store. I've looked at, just checked that out already and it's available for download. But you notice here it only works with the Linux distribution builds of LibreOffice. That is not the Windows, Mac or a generic Linux build. I've got some improvements on the Visio and Publisher documents. And just scrolling down, you can see here some other important ones. You can have a different header and footer on the first page of writer, some various other changes, I uh, got some speed improvements as well on opening the, up the ODS and ODT document formats, this one here on calc, automatically changes the direction of the words there to fit them in if they're too long, so that's very nice, very nice. And what else was there, I think there was like some overall improvements on just opening up Microsoft files, yeah, it's all pretty good there, impress, all right. Accelerated, much accelerated multimedia previews. They're getting faster. Not got faster to open it though, I've noticed that. <laughs> now I've got their own font set. It's good. It's all good. Yep, filters, we spoke about that one. Uh, right, Unity integration. So for Ubuntu, it now integrates into the global menu bar, but it doesn't <laughs> integrate into the heads up display. Yeah, halfway there though. Yeah, just various other changes, but let's uh, go ahead and look at it. So this is ah all right. I had to mess around here and do uh, two builds of this because I had a little trouble installing it. So one of this one is the repository you can get for Ubuntu twelve ten and thirteen o four. And just take a look at the version number here. So this was the beta two release of LibreOffice version four. And you can see that just looks all fine and well. The other one oh, is the one with the personas. So this one I had to download the package and install it. To be honest, I'm not going to do any instructions for this. It's really not worth doing. As you can see that it's version 4.0.0.3. What you'd have to do if you want it is you uninstall all of LibreOffice from Ubuntu or whichever distribution you're using there, so let's uninstall it, and download a new copy from the LibreOffice website and install that. So for Ubuntu, you just have to unzip the package and then do it via terminal. It's sudo dpkg-i star and installs all the packages. But you'll notice there it doesn't get the full Unity integration. I think I might have made a bit of a mess up on the, on the installation of the packages. Just taking a look at a document, You'll notice LibreOffice is still slightly slow to open up, but the actual opening of files seems to be a bit quicker now. This this is just my notes for installing Ubuntu. Now you see there on my the footer on the first page, I put that little notes there for the colour legend that I use. And now on the next page, there's nothing there. It's just a page number. So that's a nice difference. Let's just talk about one of these main features that people might be interested in. How you get the personas. So as I mentioned, it's got to be the build from the LibreOffice website. And you go on to Tools, Options, Personal Yep, yeah, Personalization, Own Persona, select the persona. You visit Firefox Personas. And you can grab one of these. Oh, what have we got here? Well that's a bit Christmassy, isn't it? Let me just go on abstract and we'll choose one from there. Rainbow columns, yep, that's fine. So you take a copy of the link, copy, go back to LibreOffice, paste it in there, OK, then OK. And that's as simple as that. <laughs> Not quite that simple, but you get the idea. So that was a look at LibreOffice version 4. You can see there's been no real change though on the user interface and for some people that is still uh, not such a good area of LibreOffice. I could probably agree to a certain extent on calc. Just trying to change the borders in there is just seems to be unnecessarily complicated. 
but at least, well, in my opinion, at least they don't have the ribbon bar of Microsoft Office, and I just hate that feature. I suppose I just haven't sat there and used it for a particularly long length of time, because we only had it on one computer at work, and well, in fact they've run out of the license key on that, so we don't have it anymore. But just trying to do the simplest things on it, uh, it just seems unnecessarily complicated. I don't know, page setup, and then print the document. Oh, I don't know, oh, God, yeah, I'm sat there for ages, scratching my head. So what used to be able to just go, oh, file, print, setup, you know. I can't remember exactly now, and I just hated it. Anyway, that was a look at LibreOffice version 4. Thanks for watching, see you later.